All right, welcome back to uh, Deep Dope Soul, and this is a segment for uh, Let's Talk About It. Uh, I did a panel discussion earlier, and now I'm catching up with uh, individuals to get their take on what happened. We're recording this on the Thursday evening that the Capitol building was stormed in D.C. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to use this, and I say hopefully because... Uh, this show is due to air on Friday, and God knows what can happen between now and Friday with Donald Trump in office and, and everything that's been going on so far. So today, in case you've been living under a rock and you don't know, Trump protesters, uh, I think they said about 10,000 or more, uh, stormed the, the Capitol and actually broke into the Capitol building. So I'm here with a, a good friend of mine from high school, uh, Lamar Roberts, who is, uh, I, I, as humbly as I can say it, a Raymond Tyler supporter, and I appreciate him. And so I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, be with us this evening. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine yourself. Um, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. You know, I apologize for missing the, the panel discussion. I wanted to be a part of that. But... Uh, but I'm, I'm here to support you any way I can. Okay, so, again, uh, if we have time, we'll talk about the election, which was last night. Um, but let's talk, let's get right to the crazy. What were your thoughts even before they, they, they stormed inside the Capitol building when you saw that many people congregating with guns, many of them, and other weapons at this at the Capitol building for the United States of America. Well, let, let me tell you, I, I was at work and I get a text message. Um, do you see what's going on? So I'm like, well, no, I don't see what's going on. So I immediately go to the computer. I jump on uh, Washington Post, CNN to see what's going on. And there I see that um, all these people at the Capitol. And I was amazed at what was taking place. And I was truly disgusted as I continued to watch it for minute after minute after minute, because I, I didn't understand what was taking place. But then when I got a grasp of what was taking place, I was, I was just in disbelief. I just couldn't believe it. Well, what in America's history Cause see, when people say they couldn't believe it, I'm like, well, what in America's history makes you think that they would not react that way? Well, let me let me just clarify the disbelief. I knew the reaction. This is what the reaction could could actually be. But my my disbelief came into fruition is when I saw that there was no opposition to what was taking place. What was taking place was being allowed, you know. The the there there weren't any arrests happening. There they were allowed to to break through the doors in the building. No one was appre apprehended at the time. Uh, there was no um, any force to to stop what's taking place. And the videos that I have seen that's what caused the disbelief because I watched a video where the actual guards opened the gates and allow the people to storm through one end of the Capitol building. Now, sitting there watching them open the gates and then walk away, like, okay, we did what we did, now let's, t let's turn our backs. That's the disbelief that I had. So, be because I know all the followers are, are capable of doing the crazy things that he instructs them to do. But it was just the opposition, no opposition to stopping them or preventing them. That's my disbelief. What would you think would have happened if you or I would have not only broken into the Capitol building in the middle of a session where they were voting for the Electoral College, and not only that, stormed the dais and then decided we're going to sit at the uh, dais, at the, uh, at the dais with the Speaker of the House, or the uh, the um, I forget the other branch, uh, the, the head of the center Senate seat, 
is. And Man, just, we, you know, what do you think would happen you or I? We would not be alive. We would not be sitting here having a conversation. We would be uh, laying in a pool of blood somewhere, and news reporters would be digging up any kind of dirt saying Shahid didn't make it as he stormed through the Capitol building. It, it, it's, it's just something that doesn't happen. We don't get the privilege to do what they did today. You know what? Uh, my last panel put a lot of onus on the media for the way that they portray people of color protesting. Um, in your opinion, it, how much of the onus does go to the media and how much of it is maybe that, um, I don't know, maybe we need to find a different way? Well, as you know, we're always portrayed uh, and downplayed in the media as as this this nasty, mean, disrespectful uh, person that walks around that believes, you know, they're entitled to something in which they're not. So we're always downplayed in any situation that we can think of. Right. So, um, the media today, they didn't, de from what I've seen, because I'm sure there's, there was a whole lot of media coverage that I didn't see, but it wasn't downplayed today. You know, they were called protesters. Those weren't protesters today. You know, they had a mission to make a point, you know, and they destroyed the Capitol building. When Black Lives Matter had a protest, a peaceful protest, despite the the adage of the outsiders in which Black Lives Matter was blamed for, um, didn't get the same coverage as these people did today. I'll take this stuff further. Just this interview is supposed to be about you, but you you bring the, here's the way I see it. When Black Lives Matter, uh, when John Lewis was alive, when Dr. King was alive, their protests were about justice and equality, inclusion, access to resources, poverty. Mm -hmm. uh, the message today was fear and intimidation. Absolutely. I, I agree with you 100%. 100%. And now the question is, did it work? You know, how much fear was instilled in the bodies of the people? You know? Yeah, and, and I'm wondering who they thought they would be instilling fear and intimidation too, because here's the one thing that I don't know if they're taking into account. If you think you're going to scare black folks, you know, like I've heard comedian after comedian say, Frankenstein, Wolfman, <laughs> there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing to, the reason why you don't see a black man fighting Frankenstein and Wolfman, because... <laughs> We can laugh at Frankenstein and Wolfman. <laughs> Our everyday existence, that's easy. You know what I mean? So, right. um, you know, if they want to instill fear and, and intimidation on, on black folks, and I don't think that they necessarily were, they would have to try a lot harder. But I don't, you know, I'm not sure exactly who they were trying to fear. And well, that that, that fear that fear yeah. was meant for the the other half of the party that doesn't side with with Trump. That's what that fear was meant for. Ah, okay. You know, think about it. I I looked at the uh, at the rally yesterday in Georgia when when Trump was down there and he spoke. You know, he he made a subtle threat to Pence during that rally. You know, and that was, oh, I I, I trust Pence will do the right thing. If not, I may not like him that much. So that, and this is him making a subtle threat to his own vice president. So, you know, so today I know that this this uh, rage at the uh, Capitol was meant for those other half of people that don't side with him. 
Wow. Okay. So then, um, <laughs> I know what I think uh, people of color should do, but what what's the answer? What should America do? What should the U.S. do? Uh, president, incoming president, people in power. How should how should this insurrection be answered? How should it be answered? Well, it, it's tough because right now it, it's who's going to step up to enforce this power. That's right. that's the main question. You know, right. no matter what we think should happen, it's like who's going to enforce it? Because we can say all day this should happen, this should happen, this should happen, this should happen. But the people sitting in those chairs will say, "I hear you." Right. I'm going to write it down, and you have to wait for my reaction. And, and like I said on the so last yeah, uh, call, in two weeks, in two weeks, they would, the people in power are going to tell you what well, that happened in the past, and we have to look forward now. Right, absolutely. Uh, but I will say this. Um... In our lifetime, when we were very, 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 very young, and definitely in our parents' lifetime, some of those people would have been at risk of being hung or yeah. facing a firing squad for what they did today. Right. I mean, there, you know, there, there was a time in not so recent America in history where they would be talking about sedition and treason in a serious manner for what happened today. Right. No matter what color you were. Right. And because they at that during that time it was the, the democracy of America that was at stake. But now you were at today, what America's at at stake? Because it certainly isn't the US, it's Trump's America. Right, 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 right. Anything you want to say before I let you go, Lamar? Uh, I, I just hope and pray that those that are that are down there in D.C. Um, come out unscathed, without injury, because the young lady died today uh, that was shot. Don't know why and how she was shot, but she was shot and she died. Um, that somehow know that we can overcome this. I'm afraid that January 20th is going to be another day of reckoning uh, when it's time for him to leave that office. Uh, I got a feeling that that's the same opposition that was here today will be there that day. And we're going to see this all over again in a matter of two weeks. Well, this is what I will say. Um, if and, and black people don't have any say on this if uh if joe biden if democrats if republicans if people in the military are not making plans to keep the peace to hold the line and to uh enforce what they would triple time enforce on black people come inauguration day T today is just going to be a warm up and the day in their minds today probably was just a warm up and i and i believe that it was because i like i said yeah i believe on the 20th the change of powers it's not going to be a pretty day thanks for more i really appreciate it thank you for having me spending the time with me and once again, Ray, you're doing such a great thing. And as your previous panel said, you know, it's, you know, the communities need more of you to do what you do. <laughs> Entertainment purposes only, please. No wagering. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. 